Whenever gold prices trending higher, it is also hinting of troubles are ahead of us. And historically, silver will always catch up later. And we saw during the past crisis when that happened, silver subsequently will move fast and furious, meaning that its magnitude is much more than gold. And we saw during the 80s inflation, when gold went up, silver subsequently went up even more. And so is the OA crisis that we can see here, that silver went up even more. And now the gold has been moving up and we are seeing that silver is catching up right now. In today's tutorial, we will discover three things. Number one is what is the one key reason why silver is lagging behind gold. And number two, why gold and silver always move in tandem over the long term. And lastly, is there a bond crisis that is ahead of us? My name is Con Hao. My work in this channel, as always, is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into this topic, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And is there a bond crisis that is ahead of us? That we have to understand that whenever the gold trend up like this, it is also telling us that there's some underlying issue in the financial market. And let's look at what happened to the bond, the US bonds and UK bonds. And two years ago, because of the UK bonds meltdown, uh, Liz Truss um, caused her position and is one of the shortest serving prime minister in UK. And so that's what happened to the UK bond. And if you look at the same time frame, the US bonds are not doing very good either. In fact, this drop in percentage term is much more than the UK bonds. Since then, uh, what I'm seeing here is that UK bond has transited from an uptrend to a downtrend. Yes, since then. And you may know that the US bonds, the relationship between uh, bonds, interest rate and uh, inflation, when US bonds are lower, it also represents that the yield or interest rate will be higher. And when that happens, it also means that interest uh, inflation will be higher. And let's look at the relationship between gold and silver. Why do they move in tandem together? And we saw that what happened to the 80s inflation and 08 crisis, they move in tandem together. But uh, gold move up first. That's what I'm seeing here. And then followed by shortly followed by silver. And what we're seeing here right now is that gold start to move up representing that something, there's some health issue in the financial market. And that's why gold is moving up right now. And we're also seeing that as it steepened, now the silver, it seems to be catching up. And you may ask why every time when there's a financial crisis, not yet happening, but it is speaking to us right now, that the gold and silver always go up because gold and silver is money. Now let's go back to some history lesson here, uh, 600 BC during the Asian Greek, the mighty Greek, uh, their money are coins, world coins, and the coins are minted in precious gold and silver. Now as the empire became mighty, they need more of this coin in the economy, um, but to, to mine more gold and silver, it proved to be very difficult. And what they do is that when they need more money, they just produce more coin and they mix it with other matters and for that reason it dilutes their currency and it causes inflation and that's the uh, downfall of the mighty greek back then so we have to understand that gold and silver they are the real money and even in the scripture it says that gold and silver belongs to me and let's discover about what is the one key reason of why silver always lag behind gold. And that brings me to one of the um, um, exercise that I did uh, since about 2015. I like the idea of uh, buying some gold and silver uh, because I believe that inflation will come in years to come. So I bought some uh, physical stocks, mining stocks. I got some PayPal ETF gold. I also want to uh, get into some physical gold as well and silver. So I spent about $10,000 each on gold and silver. And I still remember that day I went to the bank, I bought $10,000 worth of gold. I just received a, a few very 
tinly pieces of gold with 10,000. So after that, I crossed the street, I went to a bullion house and I bought $10,000 worth of silver. And I still remember this guy bring out a bag that's so heavy and passed me this $10,000 worth of silver. And I, I have a hard time to bring it to my car and I reach home. I have a hard time to find where should I store this $10,000 worth of silver. And what is the one key reason why silver always lag behind of gold? The reason is because of its weight. It is heavy and it is very inconvenient to have them. At least I have to exercise, but we have to understand that there is still value. Value is still there. So during the financial crisis, what investor will get into the gold first because it is very convenient to have them, uh, especially on the physical side. Uh, so they left silver behind, but when gold get pretty expensive, they will look for alternative and they also understand that it holds the same value and then they will get into the silver subsequently. And so this is what happened, why silver is always lagging behind. And that's what I'm seeing here. That is one of the key reasons. And let's look at the strategy on the gold market. And before the tran transition of uh, 2024, that was at the end of 2023, we discovered that um, there's this cup and handle formation in the gold. So at the end of last year, that I believe that gold will break and start to move up. And it's just started to happen. And so similarly for the silver, um, in the different time horizon, we're seeing that there's this huge cup and handle formation. So I believe that this time as it breaks above about $30, it will start to move up fast and furious. And why did some of us manage to get into gold and silver in its early stage? This is because we understand the fundamental of the value of money. So are you too late in getting into gold and silver? Well, I do not think so. Why? Because the fundamental still intact. Investors are investing into the real coins than the printed ones. So therefore, I will continue to buy on dips into gold and silver. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. The market are always telling us on their next move. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon to find out more. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.